Hi there, welcome back to Firefighter Safety Videos with Firefighter Caffaretta. We're quickly approaching the holiday season, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and a lot of people like frying. Are you guys going to fry this, uh, this Thanksgiving? Raise your hands. Okay, I am. So here's the fryer, right? Now, do you guys know where to place a fryer in a house? Trick question. Because you don't place it in the house. There's no fryers that go in the house. You wouldn't believe the countless amount of fires we go to with fires inside the house from frying a chicken, a turkey, whatever, now on the stove top or in a fryer like this with a propane tank. Now my propane tank's outside where it should be. You don't bring a propane tank inside or a butane tank or any type of tank, right? Because it off gases, it'll cause carbon monoxide, it's poisonous, it's flammable, it's explosive. You only do that stuff with everything that's, that's supposed to be in the kitchen in your oven or stovetop. So do not do a fryer inside the house. This is one step for doing a fryer. Now today, we're not going to really cook a turkey. Now, I got my, my friendly turkey right here. Right? Now he's, he's, a, he's a hoot. He likes to make a lot of noises. So what do you do? Drop him the turkey like this? Say you're all done? No, it doesn't work that way. Right? So I'm going to show you the right places, where to put the turkey, and how to put it inside the pot. And also, when you do fry, and we're not frying today, this is just for FYI skills of knowing safety, is you want to check your pot first. A lot of pots have a line that says fill to here at the max, right? Now the way to do that is put your turkey that's thawed out, that's, that's raw, that's not frozen, inside with water to see how high that water goes. And that's where you put the oil line. That's where you, you pour out that water first, dry it up, make sure it's all dry before you put the oil in, but that's where you put the oil. So, and what type of oil do you use? Do you guys know? Use peanut oil. Peanut oil is the best cooking oil for frying. Now, it's three minutes per pound for turkey, about three minutes per pound, and that's what you put inside this type of pot. And usually it takes about 45 minutes to an hour, at the very most, but I think like 40 minutes, for a typical turkey to, to cook. But you only do it outside. And I'm going to show you where to do it outside. You don't do it in the garage, and you don't do it like two feet from your house. So typically, propane tank connects up to here, and you fry it. Um, so I'm going to continue outside, and I'll show you the right places to put it. Oh, by the way, we go to over a thousand fires dealing with fryer fires every year. A thousand. That's pretty insane, right? So, so do not be dumb and cook it inside your house. Let's do it outside. Okay, we're in my garage. Now, are you supposed to start and actually fry a turkey or chicken in your garage? No, you're not. And the reason why is because the same problem inside your house could happen in your garage, a fire. Now, you want to be at least 10 feet away. I say be 20 feet away from your house. So get a piece of chalk, mark it, right, and do 20 feet away. Now, I'll show you that in a second here. You want to make sure that the fryer is outside of the house. When you drop, you know, Lila the chicken inside of here, boom. Now, honestly, you don't want to drop this person in here either. You know, you want to be gentle. So after you have your turkey ready, right, and you're ready to, to fry it after 20 minutes, and it gets about 325, so it's supposed to, read your manual too, but about 325 for the temperature, you're supposed to put it on, here's the stick. Now some of them come in cages, you put it on here, slip it on, right, uh, sorry everybody, but butt end first, right, on here, and you just kind of go ahead and kind of slowly drop, or not even drop, lower inside of here. But again, you don't do it in your garage because you're going to cause a fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this outside. So always have, have it 10 feet away. Let's have it. You want to have it 10 feet away from your garage or your house or any part of your structure that could cause a fire. Now, 10 feet away would be about here. See, but you want to be 10 feet away from 
either structure, any structure, if you have like a, you know, a detached garage. You don't want to be 5 feet from one and 10 feet from another. You want to be at least 10 feet away. I say 20. So this right here is about 10 feet away. Of course, I am close to my, my house house. So, you know, be smart. Make sure it's the, the, proper, the proper distance. Your propane tank. Here this is right here. Connect this guy up. Wait until it's about 325, right, in about 20 minutes. And then you put that turkey in there, and it takes 40 to about an hour. So this is fire safety tips with Firefighter Cafferata. I want you to be safe when you guys fry. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Always have your extinguisher ready. So that ABC extinguisher that I had, right, always have one handy in case there is a fire. So in case there is a fire, right, you want to make sure you have an extinguisher in hand or ready close by that you could actually use to extinguish the fire. ABC, the ABC extinguisher is good. And uh, just cap it, like we talked about in previous videos. If there is any type of fire, cap it, and that'll stop the fire. So again, away from the house, make sure it's at the right temperature, make sure you're ready to go. Don't drop the turkey or chicken in, kind of slowly put it in there, make sure it's not frozen, it's raw and thawed out. And uh, you could season it, obviously, before, however you want. And uh, I want you to know that an extinguisher is important to have in hand or near you. And uh, always use the top as well. That'll help, right? It'll kind of suffocate that fire. So there we go. Thanks again for watching. Talk to you soon.